I grew up not very far from here. I went to a boarding school called uh, Rishi Valley, a beautiful valley created by a great philosopher, J. Krishnamurti. My father had been the, the, the first graduate, first batch out of Rishi Valley in the mid or late 1930s. You know, he would visit the school every year and he would come and talk to us about various aspects of life, the nature of being, the importance of love, the importance of caring. And he was deeply interested in the creative experience, especially as it applied to one's inward transformation, actually observing and seeing that you are the world, that there was no difference between you and the world. So I used to work around the clock doing capital expenditure studies for a township, and then I began to hate my job. And one evening, I remember my father said, Krishnamurti is going to Banaras. He's on a, he was on a visit to India. He's at the airport. Let's go and say hello to him. So we went to the airport, and I was absolutely miserable. I hated my job. And I remember seeing this man, and uh, he said hello to my father. They were chatting, and then my father introduced me to him. And then he said, how are you? And I, and, and you know, it's just small talk. Then as he turned away, he said something. And I said, well, it's back to the grind for me. And I was saying it from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> like, it really is back to the grind for me. So he looked at me and held my hand and smiled and said, don't get your nose too close to it. And he turned around and walked away. And I remember thinking, gosh, there goes a free man. He's not going to any grind anywhere. Huh? And look at me, I've got to report back to work. <laughs> and, you know, back with my calculator doing capital expenditure estimates with my boss breathing down my neck. So I began to think, look, there must be a better way to live your life. So around 88, 89, I felt very restless. So I told my boss at Citibank that uh, I need time off. I said, I need to go and spend two weeks three, four times a year in India. And I had this idea of going and working at Rishi Valley. One day my father asked the question, he said, has Rishi Valley really produced people of the caliber that Krishnamurti hoped it would? And the honest answer was probably not, right? So the question was, why not? So we said, all right, what we should really do is if we want to make a difference in education, we've got to work with teachers. We've got to find ways of getting them to transform their thinking. So we said, let's put that on the table. The second was this whole notion of creativity. The idea of Augustia is to spark curiosity. Because we believe curiosity is the foundation of most creative behavior. The way we're doing it is, think of a, of a traditional business. You have a factory and you have a distribution system. In the case of Augustia, the factory is our campus, where we do a lot of R&D on new ways of learning, new pedagogies, teaching learning methods, and then mobile labs, which fan out to parts of the country that are very remote, where children and teachers have absolutely no access to the sorts of teaching learning methods that we have. There were these two girls, Rani and Roja, who sat under a tree on a very hot uh, summer's day, but these two girls, when they sat down, they began to talk to each other and ask questions. And Rani looked at Roja and asked, Hey, Roja, do you ever wonder why you feel cool or cooler sitting in the shade of a tree? And Roja thought for a second and said, Well, maybe it has something to do with the fact that the leaves and branches of the tree are shielding us from the sun. And they kept talking about this some more until the aha question popped out. Would different leaves have different cooling effects? And that became a science project. And nine months later, working with instructors from Augustia, they won a prestigious Intel Iris National Science Award, competing with children from all across India, most of them from top urban schools. Uh, the lives of these girls, at least one of them, has transformed because her self-belief has changed and she believes that she's really worth something. So we have Numerous examples of children like Rani and Roja who've seen a transformation in their self-belief. The fact that they believe they're worth it and that they can do it. So questioning leads to those sorts of changes.